Hello, and welcome to Without Fathom. I'm Whimsy. And I'm McGuffin. And this is Subnautica, episode 14. So what are we up to today? I want to take a drink of water first, because my throat's a little froggy, apparently. Okay. Yes. Uh, We're... We need some stuff to build our prawn suit, as That's I was true, recall. We do, yes. Also, we've got a radio to listen to. Oh. We well, came over here to the Aurora, uh, our Aurora base. forward base, uh, to get more lithium, basically. I don't think we have anything in the boxes here, but we can go find some along the wall, mm-hmm. heading towards uh, the Mushroom Forest and Bolt Town. Yeah. I'm hitting this. Yeah. Spooky Town. Oh. Oh. One of those ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. I think it's actually like translatable. Is it? Probably. And I think like if you look it up on the wiki, it'll have like a translation. I bet it will. Um, how are we on titanium? Should I grab these or no? Um, we know where just, they are. Let's leave them for now. They're right by the space. We will need a lot of titanium when we go to build the uh, cyclops. Yeah. But we are here for lithium. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait, there's a lithium right there. Snag that lithium. We're just gonna grab as much lithium as we can. I think we need at least four just for immediate things. Right, but to, to keep what us from having lighting? to do it again. What lighting? On the Seamoth? Things are reflecting weird off the Seamoth. Oh, is it from the Aurora for maybe? Maybe, might be the sky or something. Oh, it could Clouds. be. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Okay, we are here to focus on getting lithium. Uh-huh. Lithium only, so shale and lithium that we can see. Mm-hmm. And this might take a little bit. We might skip a little a little bit. Once we get drilling, we can get some of the copper. Oh, yeah. But we are going to build... We brought everything we need to build the prawn suit over here. So we can build it. We can get exploring around the Aurora. We- also, you know, we can keep our eyes out for any Cyclops pieces we might be over here. There's a lithium. There's a lithium. I think there might be one up to the right a little bit as well. Maybe? No. Okay. I'm wrong. I think there's like big deposits of lithium in this, this forest too, so if we get enough we can get the drill arm because we don't have it yet all we have is torpedo mm-hmm. arms so many torpedo arms <laughs> yeah, we need... oh no oh goodness oh buddy oh buddy well you know he was infected yeah he didn't have long anyway should i pick him up to oh. put him in the bioreactor maybe i thought i saw a there you go sorry there spade fish oh <laughs> <laughs> What do you see? I thought I saw something along this wall. I almost wonder if it's better to swim up and down the wall mm, than to use a sea moth, but... Oh, nope, that's oh. a sandstone. It's dead vastly annoying. It's probably... Oh, oh, they're probably all filled with silver that we need. Mm-hmm. Oh, shale. Shale. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we're good. It always starts to get so dark over on this side. Every time oh, we're geez, over here. Oh jeez, I'm 60 already. Did you hit another fish? Or did yeah. a fish hit you? I don't know, it's just limestone. Yeah, but prepare the, prepare Mothra. We're very sorry, Mothra. <laughs> very interesting that even a small fish can do a fair amount of damage. That's just how, uh, I, I think guess it's not... A, I think it's a spade fish specifically. Oh, really? Are they just that dense? Maybe. Is that a shale right there? Yeah. Yeah. Is that another one up there, too, yeah. or...? Yep, that's another shale up there. Oh, no, there. the controller died. Oh, no! Hold on. You'll be good. All right. right. Another <laughs> shale up here. Crisis averted. <laughs> I'm gonna scan it. That's bugged me a time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, we don't need to scan anything for this run. We kind of forgot that last episode and just got 
yeah. very scan happy. Did a lot of lore that episode. Oh no, flashlight. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. Don't you know, else? a bit of lore every now and then is is good. Mm -hmm. Got to get the whole picture of the story. Got to give people a little bit of lore so they can get a taste for it. Yeah, want to come back and get their own. Yeah. Get their own lore. Because I I do highly recommend playing this. A hundred percent, you know, and we, this is not how we normally play. This is, we usually wander around and explore everything and particularly in this game, tried our best to scan every single thing. Mm -hmm. I think we missed that big tree though. Yeah. So we might have to log back into our old save and <laughs> load it up and scan it. <laughs> but yeah, this game has so much to explore and scan and like, we played it a lot, and we're still finding cool little things. Is that big lithium? lithium? That's lithium, but we can't get it. Yeah. Sigh. Oh, no. hmm? You didn't hear that? I didn't. Hold on. Was there a roar? My head, my headphones were turned down. I guess. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh, where are we at? I have no idea. Okay. Do you want to. We'll, we'll try to stay a little bit lower. <laughs> yeah, we're we still. We still got the perimeter defense system, which is. Honestly, I would not have any fear at all. Unless, like. Seamoth was low. Yeah, I I would I have so I would have so many fears, but <laughs> that would certainly help. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's a cyclops piece right there. Yes, it is. Bonk. Ah. Oh, hey. Oh, perfect. So we have one third completed. How much of the? So we need three different sections of the cyclops, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're on the edge. We're on the edge of the mushroom forest here, so we've got spooky town behind us. Yeah. Also known as the bulb forest. Okay, there we go. Okay. So one third of this, and... We need the engine. What is that on the hull? Oh, and some other one. Okay. Yeah, so this is completed. This needs two more. Okay. We have none of the hull. So that Good needs three. No. All right, how much lithium do we have on us now? That is a good question. We have five. We've got five lithium. There might be more pieces that around here Scattered as well as... The bottom. Yeah, let's look around a little bit in here. And they feel less insecure. That's oh. another bridge piece. Yeah, we don't need that though. Oops. Murdering fish. Which life pod was that? Oh, <laughs> wow. Dang. You deserve that. He slammed right into us. I'm driving here. These spade fish have no self preservation instincts. So. Yeah. I think this way is very safe. Ooh, look. Oh, hey, a vent. Have we seen an and or scanned a vent yet? Oh, yeah, that's I... an egg. I think so. I don't think we have. I don't recognize this egg. Oh, yeah, what kind of egg is that? I don't know. I'm going to take it. Yeah, snag it. Could be a bone shark, but I feel like we've seen one of those before. Mm. Look at this oh, vent. Peeper just came out. Oh, hey, and it's trailing stuff. Can you, can you, scan, can you scan the one with the trailing? Papers? Scan them. Here we go. Enzyme host peeper. A peeper specimen was observed emitting a faint fluorescent enzyme trail and engaging in unusual behavioral patterns. Peeper is actively approaching other creatures, including predators. The specimen is host to bacterial infection. However, the infection is currently dormant. The peeper's stomach cavity contains an unknown enzyme of foreign origin. 
chemical analysis of enzyme bears some superficial similarity to the stomach enzymes of larger predators. Contact with the enzyme appears to inhibit the symptoms of bacterial infection. Complex structure renders synth synthesis impossible. Assessment. Recommend further research into enzyme origin. So this is promising. Mm -hmm. We scan the vent too. Yes. I just saw another peeper come out. Oh, oh then so in, so came out. Peepers go in, peepers come out. Oh, can't do that there. Yeah, no. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated de water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Assessment. Further research required. Hmm. Okay, that's that's our lore quota for the episode. There we go. <laughs> All right, back Game to lithium. <laughs> that was another bridge piece. Yeah. There might just be bridge pieces in this biome. Yeah, this biome might just have bridge pieces. Ooh. What's this? It appears to be a cave of some sort. Oh, cool. Maybe there's lithium in here. Mm. She said definitely not just because she wanted to explore the very cool cave. There's a shale. There's a shale, yeah. Oh, they got his lithium there too. Oh, hey, look, I was right. Hashtag <laughs> Woozy was right. <laughs> and diamond. Try not to spin around too fast for yeah. motion sick folk. All right, I guess it's just this neat little thing in here. Oh, this isn't just another cool spot where you could put a base. Yeah, totally. This is definitely one of those games where, because you could build a base wherever, every time I see a cool place, I'm like, oh, we could put a base here. <laughs> It'd be a great place for a castle. It'd be a great place Ooh. for a castle, 100%. Is that something? Oh, it might just be might a random... Be a oh, a oh, it's pool. a moon pool fragment, okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. I saw some shale over there. Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks this like a be... sea moth piece. Oh, it's, yeah, there you go, whole that's fragment. like a whole fragment. Okay. All right, so whatever biome this is now. I think we're still running around the edge of the mushroom forest. Yeah. these neat little steps. <laughs> There's another spade fish, probably. <laughs> I think we just oh, went through there a school. thing right there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a moon pool. Is it? Okay. I mean, you could scan it for the titanium, but we don't need it. Okay. There's one of those little enzyme peepers again. Should I grab him? Hmm? Oh, he's already gone. Yeah. Grab and just rub them all over ourselves. That's a moon pool piece yeah, there. So. Oh, that's, that's Did we go in a circle? Yeah, we did. Oops. All right, well. Let's go this way. Yeah. I don't think there's any lithium in in here, so. I thought there was. Like, I think it's is just that lithium? The, no, it's limestone. No, I think it's just the big chunks of lithium that you can find in here. Oh, wait, wait. I think I saw some. Behind that tree. Right there. Oh. I can't believe I saw that. <laughs> Hashtag MacGuffin was right. <laughs> this this once. Rude. <laughs> They're just hard to spot in this grass. They are, yeah. Moon pool. Another moon pool. Ooh. That's another hole fragment right there. Wow, maybe we won't even need the, the prawn to find the cyclops pieces. We still need to go around the aurora, though. Okay. 
There we go. Ah, oh, nice. All right, so we've got all the hull pieces, and we need engine fragments. The engine, more engine ones. Yeah. Which I don't. I don't think we're gonna find here. Fine. And I, oop, that's probably a hull piece right there, right? Yeah. All right. I think we probably have plenty of lithium at this point, and we're getting really far from the Aurora and our original plan. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't we go back, build up the prawn, and uh, see what we can find around the aurora itself. Okay. Because I know there are cyclops pieces around there, generally speaking. Whether there will be new ones, or or what. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to build us a prawn. Mm -hmm. Alright, aurora base. So I think actually that we have everything for the prawn in in the sea moth. Welcome aboard the captain. Oh, yeah. oh but we got another radio. Got another radio. Alright. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for one. Oh, that's uh hmm. that's a little disconcerting. So, I'm pretty sure that means us. Yeah. Yep. Gotta keep right. moving. Yep, yep. Alright, we got our plasteel ingot now that we had enough lithium. Let's uh, swim on up. <laughs> Vehicles. Oh, we need two plasteel. Did we bring I enough titanium for that? I thought we had two. Did we not bring one? I think we might have used, used it to it? make the depth module. Well, let's go grab some titanium then. Yeah. All right, quick cut while we go grab some titanium from the places all around. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. First try. <laughs> what? What does it need now? What oh, does I it put want? too many diamonds away. Oh no! <laughs> uh. Pardon us a second. All right, coming up here to build us a prawn. First try. <laughs> Got everything we need. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Should I stick this back in there? Yeah, just grab that. We'll put Come it back on. in. All right, everyone. Prawn acquired. Yay. <laughs> oh, do make sure you turn the Seamoth's lights off before we go. Oh, yeah. A jaunting off. Maybe put that creature egg in somewhere. Oh, you're already on it. Good. Yeah. All right. Turn off our lights. Let's go find our prawn suit. Oop. Oh, it just stopped falling right there. It's a fun glitch where it just stops after... After a bit. Oh, is that an eclipse? I think it is, yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah, look go at up, that. go up. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Take a picture. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, back up. Okay. <laughs> See how they fall a certain depth and then Welcome to Old Captain stop. Oh that's right, I forgot the prawn had a different voice. <laughs> Alright, we've acquired a clunky prawn suit to go out and I don't think it has any storage modules. Do you want to go grab one of them off the map? Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. And we don't have a uh, a drill arm, so it won't automatically put stuff we've drilled into it, but yeah, it's good to have. There's a bunch of different uh, arm arms you can swap it for. Woo. Like the torpedo one we've gotten. Yeah. Okay. I hope it's not bad. Welcome aboard, Captain. I hope it's set that you can't pull it out if there's something in it. If not, this is gonna be Well weird. at least one of them should be empty. Okay, yeah, see. Oh there we go. That is nice. That's mm -hmm. handy. Alright, and then the panel is there. Woohoohoo! Okay. So I think that added like another row to this storage. 
Oh, okay. look at all that storage. Ah, uh, beautiful. All right, back into the prawn. Okay. Okay, so which, the question becomes, which direction around the Aurora do we want to take this bad boy? That's a good question. Do we so, want to go the way that we've gone? We've gone that way and we picked up stuff already. We could go, we know there's a reaper over there. We could go that way still. multiple reapers behind. There are a lot of reapers around the Aurora. So yeah, let's go that way. Should be fine. Okay, sure. If any reapers come at us, just bam, bam. <laughs> is that an ancient fragment? I don't think so. I probably. don't think it is, no. no. it's not. Yeah. Will it tell you if something's scannable while we're in here? I don't know. That's why I got out. Okay. There's a box there. Ooh. Let's see. Hover over that. Oh, yeah. It'll tell you what it is. Well, because we've scanned that one already. You could, you could scan that for the... Uh, titanium. The titanium, because we will need, like I said, a fair amount of titanium. Ooh. Dark out, we're in a prawn suit, and about to go to Reaper Town. What could go wrong? Ha <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to remember where the pieces are. They might be further up uh, near the Aurora, but... Because I know you can go up this... Yeah, there's places up here we need to check, so... Climb on up there and see what we can see. Quartz, got a coral tube. <laughs> oh, you can just pick stuff up while you're in this. Yeah. That's cool. Then you also, just have to get out to handle. Great stuff. Oh my gosh. Come back. But it's escaping. I can't hit a moving target. <laughs> can you pick up salvage too? Yeah. There you go. It's hard to tell, but like the arm has a little animation. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, I think... Hey, that's part of the Aurora there. This might be really hard to do at night. Oh, there's a bridge piece. Okay. I guess that's encouraging. We're gonna go over here and then... Oh, no! Oh, yeah, there's an engine piece. Awesome! Alright. Too bad I can't scan it from inside. Yeah, that... Maybe they should. I wish they had a scanner arm. That'd be cool. Oh, that would be cool. Though to be fair, the pr the prawns were not necessarily built for science. <laughs> Is that a box? Oh, I don't. I don't like that at all. I'm not a fan. Shall we dive in? Sure, I guess. Let's just fall down this cliff into the darkness. There's a box there. Okay, looks like we're still next to the next to the Aurora. Aurora. I haven't heard one of the big roars, so there is ominous sounds. Is that like a scanner room piece? That might be a scanner room piece. If you put your thing over it, it should tell you if it's awesome. a scanner room. Cyclops Bridge, okay, which we bridge. already have. That's also a bridge piece there. Oh, it's so dark. How is it always the sun just goes down right whenever we start to do these things? Oh, you can see the... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! He found us. Oh no! Okay, I thought punching made them release quicker. Oh no! Oh gosh! Okay. Um, where did it go? It's up there. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, if it's up there, let's go this way. Okay. Unfortunately, that means we're going deeper in. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You don't, you don't seem okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, a giant monster just came out of the darkness and bit us in the face. So... It only did 20 damage. <sighs> 20, well, I guess it's 20% damage. Yeah, it did like 20% damage. Oh, so that's that would have destroyed the sea moth. 
or very nearly destroyed the sea moth, I think. Mm, it would have. They can take, what, like one hit, and then it's just you floating around with a reaper in the darkness. Mm, I'm going to go around this because I don't want to be stuck. I can't okay. tell. <sighs> in case you can tell, I am a scaredy cat. I am incredibly easily startled. <laughs> Which is why I hate them. Didn't we read once that they specifically designed the AI of the Reapers to see a target and circle around behind it and strike it like from the side or... From behind. From behind. So they, they did it on purpose. They knew what they were doing. Oh. Some salvage there. I saw that and like, I had another one. Oh no. Yeah, we don't even know where it went because it's dark. I think it's sort of murky over here generally, but I'm gonna I'm just not gonna look. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close my eyes. Back in, okay. We just need what one more one more uh -huh. engine piece of like startling over here. Is that... Is that it? Is that an engine piece? I hope so. Yes, yes, it's an okay. engine piece, okay. What is that red over there? I I don't know. Maybe part of the room. Let's find out after we do this. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's it, we got all the Cyclops pieces. Grab that, because yeah, we're gonna need a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I think it's just the side okay, of the Aurora. Okay, it's just the side of the Aurora. All right. Look. Ooh. Everything's startling piece. me now. <laughs> it's still red over here. Like, everything's on fire. Or is that the dawn, the sun coming up? I don't know. Dawn would be nice. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> All right. Well, yeah, that was exciting. Red light shining from okay. the Aurora. Okay. I feel near. like... That's actually very... Very long. The Aurora is? The light. Oh, okay. There was a box over there. There was? Mm hmm. Right over there. Oh, okay. I got to strike that one? Or was it closer? Uh, oh, I thought it was, was closer. I was like, you landed on it. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was right there. So I got distracted by all the. Weird red light. Weird it lighting. might be dawn, because it seems to be getting brighter, maybe? Yeah, it does look like it's getting brighter. I think it's the sun coming up. Maybe it's just the coloration of this biome. Yeah. Alright, I'm scanning, scanning the edges to see if I see a sinuous, sinister shape in the darkness. I think I saw one, but... Yeah? Over there? Oh no, it's just a wreckage. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is one of those parts that just reminds you that like this game is low key a horror game. Like stupid. The design was very was very intentional and very well done. <laughs> oh, this takes so long to prepare. I know. It feels like it takes longer when you know there's things out there. Okay, that box is open. Yes. I think this is the way we're going. I have no idea where we are. We're kind of lost. And I want to get out of here before we end the episode. <laughs> I want to go back to safety. Yeah, we're around the back of it, I think. I think it's like all these rumbling noises and then like just jump out and so quiet. What? Don't! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't freak out just because I got into the... I'm sorry! Uh, can't take you anywhere. You know, I think you're gonna have to... I think you're gonna have to do your own spotting for a minute because I'm too... My nurse... Ooh, a battery. My nurse is just fully frayed right now, so... It's all, it's all you, it's all you, MacGuffin. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn over, around this way and not look at anything. <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever been over here before. It's 
Does not look familiar. Might be wandering too far from the Aurora. Yeah, don't wander too far from the Aurora. Oh, there we go. She's a stalker. Looks like you cannot handle this. Get on out of here. Where are we now? We're... Well, we are still by the Aurora. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't go too deep. Oh, speaking of deep, um, the max depth for this, like, standard, is the same it's, as the, uh, the max the fully for the, upgraded yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we already have one of the depth modules, too, so... Which I forgot to put in. But that's okay, we don't need it over here. No. I'm a little sad that we have not found any prawn arms over here. Yeah. I feel like we need, or at least it's very, very helpful to have at least the grappling arm if we can find it, and the uh, the drill arm, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know where we are. This is the island where the facility is. I forgot it was this close to the Aurora. Oh no, this is not the facility island. It's not? No. Oh no, is it just a little yeah. rock promontory? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Alright, we've, we've almost made it all the way around. There we go, I want to get up here. Okay. Bad water vehicle. Whew. Okay, I think maybe this might be a good place to end it. We've got... Oh, so big, jeez. I know. We've got everything that we need as far as blueprints, blah, blueprints pardon me, mm -hmm. to make the Cyclops. We could really use another couple prawn arms, and we might need some stuff we don't already have to make the Cyclops, but we really need it for going further down. So... Next episode, let's see, we'll, we'll do a titanium run in between, so we have all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll look at the, the special components that we might need to get, and um, if we need to go anywhere cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that next episode, and we'll see if we can get ourselves a giant submarine. Yep. And uh, explore a little deeper. Take a little, take some risks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. Yep. Hit that like button if you're feeling it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Mm-hmm. If you want to see us getting eaten by reapers more. And have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.